man, the empty podium did much better than the guy with the fake badge. On Friday night. Oh, my God. Oh. We don't often have such a buffet of sound bites. I came down, I'm like, what are we open with? <laughs> Herschel with the bat, with the fake badge. This is not like what, you know, they give little kids on flights. Yeah, totally. You're a captain. I think I had one from like a box of corn pops Yeah. when I was a kid. Okay, so then an empty podium showed up because the first debate was such a disaster. So well. Oh, do we have, let's just do the badge because I have to, It's. I know the visual is, uh, okay, go ahead. Right, and now I have to respond to that. We are, we are, we are no, moving no, 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 on, no. gentlemen. I have to respond to that. And you know what's so funny? I am what? with many police officers, <laughs> and at the same time, Mr. Pastor, Walker, Mr. Walker, no, 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 Mr. Walker, no, no, no. Mr. Walker, excuse truth, me, Mr. Walker, please, out of respect, truth, truth I, I, I need here. to let you know, Mr. Yes. Walker, you are very well yes. aware of the rules tonight, Yes. and you have a prop. Yes. That is not allowed, sir. Yeah. I ask you to put that prop away. Well, it's not a prop. It, it, this is real. And he said, I but, have a problem. I never worked with law enforcement. it is considered a prop, Mr. Mr. Walker. Oh, yes. Excuse me, sir. Yes. You're very yes. well aware of the rules. Aren't you? Well, he, Are you aware of he the rules? brought up the truth. Well, so let's talk about the truth. Th thank you for putting that yes. prop away. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> is this primary or whatever this is? This midterm is this officially beyond parody i think it is he's the carrot top of republican candidates <laughs> okay i don't i don't i'm paw patrol i don't think you understand have you ever i'm the seen law a, on these here parts have you ever seen an episode of paw patrol no okay. i have not <laughs> i've got I nephews not. i have <laughs> <laughs> okay um so that all happened uh yes lindy lee sums up herschel walker didn't show up to his debate with warnock tonight greg abbott didn't show up for a second debate with beto marco rubio didn't show up to his debate jd vance ran out of there after ryan trounced him ladies and gentlemen i present to you the crown jewels of the gop this is yeah but we have katie hobbs yeah it is hard to match that slate of candidates. That is, and Mike Lee, could he get more pathetic? Oh my God. Oh my God. He keeps begging Mitt Romney for an endorsement. <laughs> Romney's like, I no, no, now you're irritating me. Yeah. Now we just wrote an op-ed in the third person. Yeah, And like, himself. you know, I hid his name so we wouldn't know it was written by Mike Lee about Mike Lee in the third person. Endorsing right. Mike Lee. Romney's about ready to strap Mike Lee to the top of his car. Right, right. Um, Rick Wilson said, I just want to, I just want to know what Mike Lee thinks of Mike Lee said no one ever. <laughs> what paper printed this? Well, they asked, so Evan McMullen wrote one too. They asked them to write one, but okay. he was the only one that wrote it in the third person. Oh, God. <laughs> like an idiot. And then also tried to like hide his name down below. So you wouldn't know it was written by Mike, Mike Lee. Lee. This one long guess the quote. Right. <laughs> or by the answer is Mike Lee. I... I would have guessed Penelope Pitstop. Who else used to do that? What's, I'm thinking of a Jim Ward impression. Oh, Bob Dole. Bob Dole. Bob Dole thinks Bob Dole ought to talk, stop talking about Bob Dole in the third person. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. Okay. All right. Um, I don't... Where Where else are we? I I said, do you want to... Jamie Raskin. Oh, talking about... Because that's Donald Trump doing Chuck Todd's talking about... Point about... First of all, why did they subpoena him now? The investigation goes to the top. They were doing an investigation. Yeah. He's at the top. Our friend Jason, Jamie Raskin, star of Stage Screen and DC Sexy Liberal. You know, the, the, the big question I got today from, you know, people on the right wing and some reporters was, well, why didn't you guys do this six or eight months ago? In other words, so the entire... Uh, project of trying to get to the facts of what happened would be consumed in a fight with Donald Trump, which he would love, turning it into a right. circus about, uh, you right. know, his absurd claims of executive privilege. No. What we did was we went out and we conducted a real investigation. We showed America how the vast majority of people respond when called upon to do their legal and patriotic duty of telling Congress what they know about this violent attack on America. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. And, oh, also, DOJ asking to give Steve, Steve Bannon six months in jail. Is When's that happening? Friday? Friday? I, I, is Friday does good? He have is Friday good? I does he have 17 shirts packed? We need to give him, you know, several days to pack enough shirts, but give him a bunch I mean, I'm not a monster. Points. That Pardon? seems like a short amount of time to yeah. me. Yeah. 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 Considering I, he keeps... There's no shirt minimum. I'm not a monster. Again, you know, not just a two-shirt minimum. I, I don't think they allow you to bring your own shirts into prison. Oh, he'll really? have to He'll have to yeah. just request extra orange ones oh, from no. the laundry. Yeah. I've seen orange. But then you got to wear black. the whole jumpsuit. It's not just a shirt. you got to wear a whole 
I mean, I don't know how he's going to fit into all those jumpsuits. Yeah. It's going to be very. We're just, we're liberal helpers. We're just thinking here. He's going to get the flop sweats. Okay. Um, Maybe Nancy Pelosi will bring him some Slim Jims. (laughs) I mean. Can I just say, I said before the thing, you remember she came to a resistance dinner party at my house. Do you know much? Do you imagine how much time and planning I put into the catering and, you Mm -hmm. know, like Nancy Pelosi's coming to my house. And so she didn't barely ate a bite. If I'd known, I could have just gotten Slim Jims. I did because she was still talking at the dinner table. I was like, all right, don't interrupt her. She doesn't want to. She's really. Uh, I was like, are you going to. Would you like to take a bite? Would you. You're very tiny. I feel like you need to have a bite. I can fix it to go plate. Yeah. I mean, the level of badassery. I'm not even sure what level. She turned it up to 11. The opening of Slim Jim while saving democracy. With yeah. her teeth. With, With her, her teeth. teeth. Yeah. <laughs> like, a, like a boss. Wait, do we have. Can you hear the rapper? You can practice. You can kind of tell when it's happening. Just talking to the vice president. You? Yeah, Saving the peaceful transfer of power in America. And, and snapping into a Slim Jim. A little snack. All right, Mr. Vice President. Hi. Yeah, we're okay. We're here with Mr. Schumer, Mr. McConnell, the leadership, House and Senate. And uh, how are you? Oh, my goodness. Where are you? God bless you. But are you in a very safe... Well, that we are still not safe enough for us to go back. We're being told it could take days to clear the Capitol. And that we should be moving everyone here to get the job done. Uh, we're at which has facilities for the House and the Senate to meet. We'd rather go to the Capitol and do it there, but it doesn't seem to be safe. We've gotten a very bad report about the conditions of over the um, House floor with defecation and all that kind of thing. Okay, and that caused that. Okay, I worry about you being in that Capitol room. Uh-huh. Don't let anybody know where you are. Okay, that's come on. Just, I, I did not peg her for a slim jim girl. She's very tiny. She well, doesn't look like she eats much of anything. Undisclosed locations tend to have food that keeps for a long right. time. Right. Oh, right. So yeah, a slim jim. She seems would like be, she's a healthier, persnickety San Francisco eater. I just but wouldn't. food that keeps for a long time isn't the most healthiest food in the world probably not. They, they got they got slim jims twinkies and triscuits yeah, that's what they got exactly. in there <laughs> did, you, did you see uh, snl chuck schumer hi doordash i uh, order's late <laughs> i just love policy just shoving him out of the yeah. frame i'm here too light mustard i don't want an upset stomach <laughs> i'm in an enclosed room with 30 people <laughs> Come on, they were kind of doing poo-poo jokes, as they Nancy were. would say yeah, on SNL. It's fantastic. Thank you. Okay. Um, can I just... Okay. They. We know that Republicans are shameless about lying. We saw the tape of them there with her, yeah. with all the stuff she was doing. Uh-huh. We know the facts about how many times she was denied the National Guard. She's not in charge of the National Guard. And there's Steve Scalise and others just lying about what we just saw. Yeah. They were all there with her. Okay. Thank you. Tennessee Holler said, amazing. Steve Scalise watched Pelosi call the National Guard when they were all in hiding, then in the aftermath accused her of trying to delay them. Unconscionable. Yeah. I, they, that is the level wet. They will lie about things we just saw on tape. If that's what they want to investigate when they get, get control of the House, we've got tapes now. Right. We've got tapes showing yes. exactly what she was doing and what they were not doing. Right. Duty to warn said Scalise was right there in the room next to Pelosi as she took charge to do what Trump wouldn't to save his butt and the country he's supposed to serve. It was there on video and you heard audio of her working with Pence, yet Scalise saw an opportunity to shamelessly gaslight. Yep. The fact that they can stand up there and go, there needs to be an investigation of Nancy Pelosi mm-hmm. when they were there with her hiding her watching her trying to save their ass while Don, it, well, right well Kevin McCarthy's calling Trump screaming do something and Trump won't I'm like oh my yeah. god oh my shameless shameless okay yes thank you uh Jim Clyburn talking about that and I watched Nancy Pelosi uh interact with the vice president interact with the other uh Republican leaders of the Senate uh McConnell uh Scalise uh Truman we were all in that room working on one accord. Only when we came out of the room, when I started hearing all of this foolishness, uh, that nobody uh, in that room, or at least the Democrats, were not doing what needed to be done to preserve the integrity of the peaceful transfer of power. Uh, thank you. Talking one more about the speaker. Nancy was calling uh, the, the uh, mayor uh, of Washington. And I remember very clearly saying to her, 
I said, Madam Speaker, uh, all the information I get is that the authority that the mayor once had with the National Guard here in D.C. is not there anymore. This administration has taken that away. And the Steny Hoyer got on the phone and called the governor uh, of Maryland. Um, and I said to Nancy, look, give Northrop a call. Uh, Virginia is just as close to us, if not closer, uh, than Maryland. And she did get on the phone. She did uh, talk to him. Uh, and they were doing everything they could. They just did not not get the kind of support that we should have gotten from the White House. And we all now know why. Thank you. Um, can I just say we got a lot more shoes to drop here? Yeah. About, well, January 6th in particular, but in general. Right. I mean, Lindy Lee said Oath Keepers had the number of a Secret Service agent and called the agent many times. In other words, a, a terrorist was repeatedly in touch with the Secret Service. Someone for the and someone from the White House called a rioter as the riot was ongoing. You want to say more about how this was a normal tourist visit? Um, she also tweeted Defense Secretary Chris Miller ordered the Pentagon to postpone 40 meetings with the incoming Biden administration. Trump ordered our troops to withdraw from Somalia and Afghanistan. Pompeo released 5,000 Taliban terrorists. These traitors were willing to get Americans killed out of revenge. Um, and, and just that, that they're allowed to go on tape and lie about that this was Nancy Pelosi's yeah. fault. Right. When it was Chris Miller mm -hmm. that denied. Mm -hmm. I forget the number of times now. Right. The, the uh, National Guard. OK. Um, yes, Christopher also tweeted, Nancy Pelosi unwrapping a Slim Jim with her teeth and eating it while on the phone handling the insurrection is the most badass multitasking I've ever seen.